That's your latest North Sound News. I'm Peter Reid. Broadcasting live across North East Scotland to the music of your life and the news that matters. 1035 Medium Wave, North Sound 2. Good evening, it's six o'clock. A money-making plan to boost Aberdeen city centre has been backed by businesses. 62% of companies balloted voted yes to the establishment of a business improvement district. Each would hand over 1% extra on their rates to pay for extra services like clean up of the city centre. George Yule from the Chamber of Commerce is encouraged companies are eager to give the council a helping hand. In a perfect world that's perhaps what the council should be doing but we're not in a perfect world. We have got a job of work to do in Aberdeen to preserve the quality of life we've got here and uh, make improvements for the future. Um, so I'm viewing the whole thing in Aberdeen as adding value the grieving loved ones of a Helensborough family killed in a deliberate arson attack are making a fresh appeal for information. Eight-year-old Bridget Sharkey and her brother Thomas were found dead after their home was set on fire almost a fortnight ago. Their father, Tommy Sr., died later in hospital. His wife, Angela, is in a critical condition and now knows her entire family are dead. Her sister, Margaret McKechnie, broke the news to her. I had to tell my sister Angela the news yesterday afternoon and she was totally and utterly devastated to hear from me that her two lovely young children had been taken from her. There was such sadness in her eyes and I can't begin to explain how shattered she is by this terrible, terrible news. Police are hunting a gang who targeted a young couple in Aberdeen. It happened early on Sunday morning on Union Street between Shiprow and Adelphi. A 20-year-old man was assaulted by three men while walking with his girlfriend. The attackers, aged between 18 and 20, punched him in the head, leaving him with facial injuries. Police say it was an unprovoked attack and are appealing for any witnesses. Members of a notorious US church are planning to target a North East Kirk later this year. The Westboro Baptist Church wants to protest outside the Queen's Cross Church in October because the minister, Scott Rennie, is openly gay. The leaders had previously planned to target the church in May 2009 but failed to turn up. Mr Rennie says he's quite relaxed about the potential visit. Throughout the whole kind of process and issue over the years, the kind of number of positive letters and phone calls have always outweighed the kind of negative comments and, and the negative people. The trouble is that people with extreme views always shout the loudest, don't they? You know, the moderate majority, their voice is never really heard. No sound to weather. There will be some late sunshine around, especially towards Moray and western Aberdeenshire through the weekend with the odd shower possible towards Aberdeen and Peterhead. Then mostly dry with clear spells overnight and colder than of late. 